So the fishing tourney, our first fishing tourney in Animal Crossing New Horizons is complete. I had personally, maybe I'm in the minor, I might be in the minority, but I think it's maybe more mixed, 50-50, something like that. I actually had a lot of fun with it. Now, I think that fun may have been rooted in the fact that I played with a group, at least three people and at most five, I believe. And I never once partook in the tournament by myself. And I think that that heavily influenced the fun that I had with the tournament, if that makes sense. So like, I think a lot of that fun overshadowed the flaws and complaints that I've been seeing on Twitter. So long story short, you gotta catch as many fish as you can in three minutes to get your rewards from CJ. It's pretty straightforward. Some of those prizes being t-shirt, a door plate, a drying rack, tackle bag, rugs, and wallpaper, etc, etc. And it would be remiss of me to admit the fact that you get, after 100, 200, and 300 points respectively, a bronze, silver, or gold trophy in the mail the next day, I would assume. And as far as strategies go, is pretty much make sure you bring bait with you so you can avoid the Easter eggs, or whatever eggs you want to call them, the bunny day eggs. And... It's up to you on the fishing rod part. Maybe bring an extra fishing rod each round or carry a few fishing rods with you because if your fishing rod breaks, you're not screwed, but it's not really the best case scenario. As far as the point system goes, the scoring system in the tournament, each fish, regardless of rarity, regardless of size, regardless of where you caught it, whatever, as long as it's not an egg, it's worth one point. Once you've caught three or more fish, you get an additional two points. So three fish puts you at five. And then there is a co-op bonus of collectively catching over five fish to warrant you even more points. And 10 points awards you a prize, which you can actually redeem consecutively based on how many points you have. So if you have 30 points like I did in this video, you can get a prize three times back to back, which is pretty convenient. And this is entirely up to you, but you are given the option. You can sell all of your fish at once for CJ's going rate of one and a half times the normal price, or you can interact with the cooler behind him to keep any fish you want for donating or for storage, whatever. It's actually pretty cool. And that is pretty much the gist of the fishing tourney, I guess, looking at it like this. There's not too much meat on them bones, but to be fair, it is also a day event. Um, I do kind of want to look at some concerns or criticisms, flaws, or whatever. So I did take a mental note of this actually several mental notes because you got to grind out a lot of fish you really do in the end regardless of if you're with a group or by yourself so that means talking to cj a lot that's four times each round essentially if you're planning on selling and redeeming your fish i recommend holding on to your points so you can redeem them at the end but if you didn't know better your first time you talk to him, you get your points. Second time you talk to him, you have the ability to sell your fish. Third time you talk to him, you can redeem those points. And then the fourth, final time, you gotta talk to CJ to compete in the tournament again. It's a lot of rinsing and repeating. And quite honestly, it could have just been simplified with continued dialogue. You know, don't cut us off. It's, it's already enough as is, because CJ likes to run his mouth. And the point system. I saw quite a bit of complaining about this, and I'm kind of mixed on it. You catch a bluegill, it's one point. You catch a loach, it's one point. You catch a carp, it's one point. A sea bass, it's one point. An oarfish, it's one point. A tuna, it's one point. Whatever you catch, it's one point. There really isn't much strategy in what you catch. As long as you use bait, everything is going to be one point. You don't have to worry about the eggs. And the only incentive to catching bigger, better, rarer fish is really just in value alone once you sell the CJ. And in trying to play advocate to that, I suppose if you have eight people on your island partaking in the fishing tourney and everyone is fishing along the ocean, that could get a bit stacked. So the fact that each fish is worth one point might push people towards your ponds, towards your rivers, so that everyone's dispersed evenly. And if it were a size-based system, people would really only be fishing for black bass, sea bass, and what, the bigger fish, the rarer fish? And I think in the end, it gives more value to those smaller fish. Otherwise, they would never be caught. It would be pushing everybody to the ocean more than likely. The more I try to think about alternatives, I think the harder it gets because I keep finding reasoning behind the point-based system in this tournament. And then there's the villagers, the inhabitants of your island or friend's island, etc. 
Why aren't they partaking in the tournament? Where is their point total? Why isn't theirs factored in? Is there any competition even? I mean, we're just handed a trophy for total points at the end of it. But I guess in the end, that's really only a result of the point system. So even if you wanted to include their participation, I don't really know how it would work. It would be nice to see them catching a fish or something once in a while just for their own sake. I mean, I talked to Cube and he straight up said he just wants to eat the fish. So it's a one day event. So it is kind of nice to at least see them all out with their fishing rods. And to be honest, the fishing dialogue is kind of interesting. It's different, you know, it's a change of pace from the bunny day dialogue. The eggs coming out of rocks, falling from trees. I don't care what Wilbur says about mystery islands and eggs and... And people like to compare or look back at New Leaf. And quite honestly, it's not like I felt like the villagers in that game did all that much either. I mean, we would get text indicating that they caught the biggest fish. But that's really all it was. And with the system being as it is, I just don't see how the villagers could ever participate unless they change it. Because this tournament isn't competitive, which should be implied by the fact that it's a tournament, but it's actually more cooperative focused. I guess I just don't know how else they would really incorporate the villagers. And I'm happy just to see them outside, I guess. I wish they could partake maybe in the future, who knows? And the eggs. Um, I got really lucky. I got the gold trophy. Um, probably got close to 400 points, I'm sure. And over that entire period of the tournament, I think I caught three eggs at most, maybe, maybe two eggs. And I only used 10 bait. I get it. I got lucky. That doesn't, um, detract from the fact that there should just not have been eggs in the tournament. The crossover just doesn't make sense. Crossover with cherry blossoms. That's frustrating as well. Um, I think a simple solution, fine, you want to keep the eggs, it is bunny week or whatever. When the timer starts, just kill the eggs, no eggs, that's it. Or put some value on those eggs. Or, I don't know, yeah, just one point something made, there'd be some cute, there could be some cute dialogue with the eggs, I don't know. And quite honestly, I guess I don't really understand why the tournament ran from 9am to 6pm. Uh, I saw some people worked and missed a good chunk of the tournament, maybe only had an hour to participate in the tournament. Why not let it run? I mean, CJ, when he normally visits your island, he's there until pretty much the next day, right? So have it run till 9 p.m., 10 p.m. It started at 7 a.m. I don't know. That one was a bit odd for me, too. And as far as looking at the tournament in a positive light, I prefer this tournament to New Leaf any day. Like, no offense, but the tournament was literally like an afterthought. As Voodoo Crossing said on Twitter, I actually enjoyed it. It was different than New Leaf, where you could just catch a shark the night before, stick it in your fridge, then pull it out the next day to get first place. It was a change of pace. And that's true. It didn't really feel like an event. It was like, oh, here's Chip, let's hand him this fish, we're done. And it really only took like a couple minutes if you had all the fish prepared. And as Roboto Boy said, I personally loved it. It was a lot of fun and felt like there was a reason to actively participate to gain more points, etc. The old tourneys felt like a bit of a five minute one and done affair and I couldn't agree more. This tournament actually felt a lot like the New Leaf Island Tours. And when looking at it like that, I think there is actually opportunity with a fishing tournament to maybe adjust what kind of competition you do. So maybe there is the one where you catch one fish for one point, or maybe you catch a specific size fish, or the rare fish, or small fish, river fish, ocean fish. And based on the difficulty you choose for that specific round, maybe you get more points. And CJ. I think CJ is awesome. I think he's got some personality. I think his dialogue is witty. He's fun. He's energetic. He doesn't eat the fish that you just worked so hard to catch. And I actually think CJ and Flick are pretty cool. And something that I actually appreciated a lot in this tournament, as opposed to like New Leaf, was the fact that it was much more geared or oriented towards working together, playing with friends, because there was that bonus. There was a grind, I get it. But the grind was easier to manage when you were shooting it with friends, just having fun, talking, playing, trying to beat each other's scores while working together at the same time. 
Whether or not there are changes made in the next tournament, I really, really, really recommend you guys trying to put together some kind of fishing squad or, you know, get together with some friends, hop on somebody's island. It makes the experience that much more tolerable and that much more fun. And I shouldn't forget to mention that I really liked the prizes in this tournament. I got a lot of duplicates, but I did manage to get everything. And quite honestly, I would say a quarter of the items are really practical in putting them inside your house. But the rest of the stuff actually sits really nicely on your beaches or next to houses. And I kind of appreciate that. My biggest takeaway with the fishing tournament, I think a lot of the issues and complaints come from the fact that we're doing a point-based system. My biggest hope, I'm optimistic. I'm really, I'm really looking at Nintendo and Animal Crossing. Like this is an opportunity. You have the Nintendo Switch. It is the perfect platform to start being more proactive with updates. We saw the drop rate for the bunny day eggs adjusted so quickly with an update. I was honestly shocked. I didn't expect Nintendo to actually react as quickly as they did. So I'm looking at that, I'm taking that and, and just thinking maybe we'll get a shot. Maybe, maybe the next tournament will change. Maybe they'll adjust the mechanics, the system. Maybe villages will partake. Hopefully we get new furniture, new clothing, bags, whatever. I think that there's a chance. I really do see Nintendo taking care of their Animal Crossing community, this game, and I think the longevity of this game will rely ever so slightly on updates. You know, when the next fishing tourney rolls around, what is our incentive to partake in it? Why should we care? And I'm really curious to see how Nintendo and Animal Crossing handles future events, Bunny Day included. Let me know in the comments below, did you like the fishing tourney? What didn't you like about the fishing tourney? What would you like to see improved, removed, etc, etc? Thanks for watching guys, and if you for some reason liked my content, please don't forget to subscribe. Nyuk nyuk!